Okay, today we're going to make a quick video on how to get a proper exposure in Cine EI mode. The first step in getting a proper exposure is to confirm the gamma curve that you're going to be shooting with. In this case, we're shooting with S gamut S log 2. And the reason we choose S log 2 is that it handles highlights better than S log 3 does. So S log 2 clips at 107 IRE, whereas S log 3 clips at 93. So even though we're indoors, we it's basically pretty bright in here, like daylight. So we're going to go with S log two to give us a little more latitude with our with our highlights. So once we've confirmed the the gamma curve that we're shooting with, in this case it's S log two, then you need a reference chart. These are available online. This is from on the back of a book, and so we can see that S log two for the better improved signal to noise ratio we want a 90% white card at 74, 74 IRE and that's about a stop and a half above what Sony recommends but it has been shown that because S-Log has so much dynamic range you can overexpose and still have headroom to spare or exposure latitude. This chart is actually from the book The Quick Start and Basic Reference for the Sony FS7. So the first step was confirm our gamma curve the second part is to confirm what a proper our proper exposure level will be for a 90% white card. Then we go into our zebra settings and then we adjust it to 74, 74 IRE. And then we can adjust our aperture to right now it's at 3, but you know just for the sake of simplicity I, I'll set it to 4. And then that means that anywhere between 72 and 76 IRE zebras will start appearing on the 90% white card. So you do need a 90% white card to do this. You can use a piece of uh, white paper if you're in a jam. And then you want to go into video and you want to make sure to turn off the monitor LUTs. The zebras will assess whatever's on the monitor and we so we don't want to be assessing the monitor LUT, we want to be assessing the S-Log footage. So that's what we're trying to get a picture of, uh, footage of, and then we put our white card in front of it. And now all we got to do is adjust our iris until we see zebras on the 90% white card. And once we we see enough zebras to our satisfaction, we'll leave our aperture at that setting, and then that should give us a proper exposure. I can also look at the waveform monitor and see that the card's falling right about the 74, 74 IRE level, so that's good. So then I can take the white card away, knowing that I have a proper exposure now, and then I can go back into the video setting and turn the MLUT on for the viewfinder so I can see a, a better approximation of what the image, the final image will actually look like. I apologize for the, the shakiness on the camera there. It's, uh, it's on a table that's actually not very stable. So then I just zoom in here and I get my focus on the eyes. And I'll just go ahead and press record and record a little bit of this. Now, what you're seeing with, through the monitor LED is not the final image. We're, it's just allowing us to see what the S-Log footage might look like. But the S-Log footage is going to be flat and washed out, and so it'll have to be color corrected. So once I'm done recording this footage, I'm going to pull it into my software and apply a LED and do a little correction, and that's what you're looking at here. This is the final image that's been uh, had a LED applied and been slightly color corrected. And so I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks properly exposed. So it's really not that difficult. You just got to make sure that you have the right gamma curve and then the right IRE level for that gamma curve. And then it's really pretty straightforward. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.